Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Hey, in this video, I wanted to show you how to enter a vendor credit, okay? So a vendor credit can come up uh, in all sorts of ways. You know, you may enter the bill wrong and you end up overpaying it, so they issue a credit. You may return something and get a credit. You may, uh, there, you know, that you may have a bad experience with a vendor and they say, hey, we'll give you a $100 credit. Uh, against your account, uh, whatever the case may be. But you need to enter this in QuickBooks uh, so that it shows and records correctly. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, if you go up to the, uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can go to the vendor drop down menu and go to enter bills. Okay, or you can just click right here, go to enter bills. And you'll see up here, there's an option. Okay, so normally when you're entering a bill, you're going to, you know, have this checked and it's going to default here and you're gonna put in your information. But in this case, we have a credit, okay? So what we're gonna do, you're gonna put in the vendor name, uh, put in the date, and if there's a reference number for a credit, uh, sometimes they will, kind of like an invoice number, they'll put a, a, some kind of credit number or reference number on the credit. You're gonna input that there. And let's say that this is $125, and it's for job materials, $125, okay? And if you're tracking um, costs and credits and job expenses by customer, you're gonna put in the particular customer, and this is not gonna be billable, okay? And of course, if you are doing class tracking, uh, you can put that in here, all right? So we're gonna save and close, okay? So let me show you what this does. When we go to pay our bills, all right, and we choose Middlefield Drywall right here. Okay, let me get rid of that. Uh, you'll see here that it's got total credits available, $125. So we set the credits, and you'll see that uh, the credit is checked here. You wanna leave that checked. Of course, if you uncheck it, it does not use the credit. Okay, hit done. Okay, and you'll see here, credit choose. So we owed them 1200 we're using a credit of 125, we're paying $1,075, okay? Simple as that, all right? And then of course you're gonna pay the bill and go from there. So that's it, pretty straightforward, but uh, you know, when you're looking at the home screen, there's uh, it's not too uh, obvious of how you're gonna enter that vendor credit. Uh, even when you go here, it's not too obvious. You wanna go to that enter bill screen. All right, that'll do it. For more uh, on QuickBooks and uh, to grab some other free videos uh, exclusive on the QuickBooks University site, head on over to qbuniversity.org. Got uh, a lot of great free stuff there. And uh, of course, our training tutorials. And uh, once you become a member, personal support from me to answer all of your QuickBooks questions. Head on over there now, qbuniversity.org.